Hey, it's your boy Grimudo, and welcome back to another video. Today we're back at it again at Grand Summon, and today we're gonna be doing a showcase of the girl Sidious or Dollar Sidia or as the skin coders of the Isolted Sidia. Oh, sorry, Isidia the Sultan, which I'm surprised I got a character, which is kind of insane. I got a character. I was summons, like the I was summons with the new system they're doing. They're pulling, I'm actually getting used to character because of it. But before we jump right to it, if you do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. That would be pretty greatly appreciated. I guess let's let's talk about her. Alright, well let's start with her kid. Um her skill, 3000 light damage, physical, summon a serpent with a thousand HP, and she can have a max of four of them in the battlefield. And the serpent covers or and takes damage for her. Uh, for her, her art. Mirage of Sunlight, 20,000 light damage, increases human units, Argus by 30 and reduces enemy light resistance by 30% for 20 seconds. Or her stories? Okay. It's like a says, Can I say Stina? Well, she also gives show. But she gives Argus when it's killed to humans, so. And light rest. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best. Her true art, Dance of the Moonlight, 60,000 light damage, summons 4 Serpents. With a thousand HP, servants cover your damage. So she literally just summons for them right there and they start taking damage for her. By the way, the servants only take damage for her, nobody else, only for her. And for her super art, Serpents of Twilight, 160,000 light damage, destroys her servants, increases crit rate by 100% and crit and super crit rate by 20% times the number of destroyed servants during the super art at max of 80%. So if she has four of them at the time and she sacrifices or destroys them, she has 80% um, super crit rate, which is the highest in the game if I'm not wrong. And also, this girl is my first super, uh, super crit character that is physical. I only have two super crit, uh, super crit characters, Demon Lord Rimuru and her. Funny that I got a physical one. But yeah, uh, for her abilities, um, she has three abilities, uh, HP recovery amount 5% on. Um, and the next one is out of our gauge by four when she has 90 percent more hp and her last one holy sigil domination which is probably one of her more important skill for her damage damage 30 percent up every time her the servants are destroyed by super arrow by damage so if they die by four because they're taking damage for her that counts as this and when they died they gave her 30 percent damage at max of 100 percent so she can and so you need to four of the servants to die to have the full amount of damage right here and I, and she's gonna do a lot of damage i bet when she has at least this full max style with the super great oh my god can't wait to do that out. for her quest shot i would say put on attack up and our gay shop you can also put promise of the fury promise of the funeral god i think that's what it's called that one too but i would say attack up and argus shop are the most important one because she's definitely wants to have she's gonna take a bit because she's gonna at least to get set up she's like uh she's me a little bit of demon lord, uh not demon lord uh sword demon berwick the super ascendant one like he like he does a lot of damage but he needs a moment to set up and i think she's the same way like she'll do a lot of damage but she gonna need a moment to set up um she has um three uh she has for her equipment slot she has a five star physical five star defense and a four star defense for the five star physical you want three sanagi if you're in a sustained team you definitely want three sanagi you can also put her through equipment which is really good on her so to address some light damage if the user is light, a light unit increases damage to an enemy by 20% for 10 seconds and increases an extra 15% when HP is 80% or more. So she has 35% damage to enemy and she has this for the passive in the equipment, crit damage 20% of and when it's equipped on her, um, she has damage and skill CT speed 30% off. So she, this, this equipment gives her a lot, lots of damage. Or if you're gonna nuke with her, I would say Blade of Regalia or Ashura, which just give you a lot of arguments that you can just nuke with. 
for the five star defense you can put on this one back strike again this one is a new can one that you can use or anything that you need for the boss anything if you need physical or magic or whatever you need and of, and for the four star defense you can put this one if you want extra damage or anything that again as the same as a five star one anything that the boss uses so physical or whatever you need but if you want more damage definitely put on the on summer now for her animation let's see let's see the normal attack okay so it's like a like a dash and slash and then goes back okay yeah nothing impressive let's see the skill yeah the king this is where she summons the king and she and the king does as has a certain does a slash pretty nice okay i like it now for her art okay so okay i actually like i actually like this one a lot so like a fireball and that she flashes okay this one's pretty sick i like this one i like this one a lot for sure now her two arts Okay, okay, so she just summons all of the canes right here. So four of them. So two at the start, they slash, slash. And then two more come back and then, okay. Okay, not bad, not bad. And then the support, let's see this. You know, that's not bad, it's not that slow too. It takes like a little bit to charge, like three se two, three seconds, and then it does all the damage. Which is pretty good for nukes, so it's pretty fat, it looks like. I'll text it out in a second, we'll see him in action. But it doesn't look that slow. So it's definitely like medium range of time, but you know what? For her art, definitely my favorite one is her art. Definitely my favorite one. Um, I would say a... An 7 out of 10, for sure. 7 out of 10, for sure. Okay, this is the theme I'm thinking of using. So yeah, this is the equipment, and I'm gonna use it in her own chapter, the normal specs. Let's see how this goes. All right, let's see, let's see. Right, we just need to get this boy starter real quick. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And I think this one you can almost nuke it. I'm pretty sure at the end she has like a, she survives because she uses her kings right here. So. Let's, let me see. For a new I'm thinking of doing like do this, right? So you just summon the four of them right here. Let's do this. Now do this, this, pop this, and let's see the damage. Oh, ooh, that was that 100k per head? I think that was. I, I I could be wrong, but I think that was 100k per super crit. There. Yeah, you see that she survives a little bit at the end. But I think that's a way you can use her of nuking her like that. You need to use her twice so you can summon the four kings and then super art. So you can have the 80% crit rate. That's one way I think of using her. Let's see. Yeah, she was in five, uh, yeah, five million there. Oh, well, almost. Now let's try on another event. Okay, we're doing the Summer Iris Pressure Hyper quest. So let's see how this goes in this one. Uh, so again, I'm going to do the same thing. I want to see how it goes with the news with her at least. Ooh, if I could pop that, but that's fine. It's fine. Let's see how this goes on this one. So, let's pop this. Let's do this. So, now this. Now we just need to get super art. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, we should be able to do the new here let's do this this all right let's let's see the nuke let's see if we can just solo this let's see if, ooh, i think that was eighty thousand. wait was that four hundred thousand? i think that was four hundred thousand super crit damage there if i'm not wrong 
But you see, I think this is a way you can nuke with her. So you see to have... So pop your super art and then... Sorry, no. Pop your true art so you can get all the kings. And then pop your super art so you sacrifice them. And then you can see 9 meter damage. Look at that. Like she does damage. She does a lot of damage. Okay. Let's try one more thing of a nuke. Okay, now I'm doing the special, uh, the Specs Hyper for the Femme one now. So let's see how this one goes. Uh, yep. So, yep. We just pop this, cut our early arch again. Let's do this. I couldn't pop uh, Hokus one, but that is fine. Okay, so we just need to pop Oka right here. Now we should do hers, and now uh, we wait a little bit. Let's pop his there now. Let's do this, and Sylvia should have. Yeah, we're gonna pop this, and let's see the damage here. I I think that's six hundred thousand per super crit. Yep, six hundred thousand per super crit there. Now that's a lot of damage. That's how we like to see. Let's see how much we did. So as you can see, her super art takes a little bit. So she does like the charging thing, and then she goes. But after the charging thing, her damage is pretty fast though. Let's see how much damage we did here. Nine meter again. Which is, again, not bad, that's good. And lastly, I'm gonna do the practice range so to see if I uh, wanna see we all the, the kings destroy. I wanna see, we I need to destroy 20 of them. I wanna see how much we can do. So yeah, I, I guess I'll start doing this and I'll show you guys in a little bit how it goes for the free range battle. Because it takes definitely a bit to destroy the kings and everything. Because you need to destroy 20 of them, which is a lot. This guy knows. I, 20 of them is a bit, but again, for long battle, she's gonna be insane. Any type of long battle, she's gonna do a lot, a lot of damage. And that's what we like. So, I guess, I guess I'll start. Uh, skip it for a little bit. And here, let me show you guys the thing I wanted to show you real quick. Where it says that 4, I'm pretty sure, look at that 4, it went to 8, you see? That's the, her passive right there, going through. Now when you, it shows the number there. And you see that little white guy? I'm probably gonna talk about this at the end of the video, I don't know if I might. I, I mean, I should, of course. But, it, it, though, you, you see this 4, that's the kings that are alive for at the moment. Or are currently out. And another thing which I would say sucks about her is that um, when she goes through stages, she loses her canes, which suck. I don't know why they did that. They they should have definitely kept or stay the canes. I don't know why they make it that you cannot go with your canes to the next battle or round. So that's definitely a thing that sucks about her, that you cannot keep going with your canes. To the next battle, which suck. I don't know why they made it like that. Hopefully they switch it in the future. Yeah, I hope that they switch it because that thing is just—it's just annoying. Like, let her keep her tense and keep doing what she needs to do to get her passive. Now uh, we're at twelve percent, as you can see. But yeah, that's that's a thing that I don't know why they did that. It doesn't even make sense. It's just dumb in my opinion why they did that hopefully they in the future they switch it i don't know but we'll, i guess we'll see when they do it uh, i mean four merchants and we're at the full threshold of the damage so um, we get here i get a four in here and let's see i'll skip until we get 20. okay we're about to get 20. let's see the damage Let's see the damage here. Ooh, I think that's almost... Uh, I cannot see it clearly, which sucks, but... I wanna see how much damage we're doing there. 
quite a, we're doing quite a bit for sure. Oh, we have our full pass. If I don't need to do, well, I guess for the for the crew raid, when I as high as I can. So let's do this. So this, so we can keep going, having the debuff this to buff our human units. Let's do that. Let's see how much damage again. Just doing. Team. Is that a billion or am I tripping? I think that's a that was a billion, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, she does a lot. As you can see, I have all my stacks up and everything now. She's doing a lot, of, a lot of damage. I must keep up to a little, a little bit there. I got no super. Let's see how much damage here. You see a little bit. I think that's a billion. I'm pretty sure that's a billion. We're doing. Yeah, was that two billion? One of them? I think that was a two billion thing right there. Ah, uh, I thought I'm not gonna be able to get one more, but I think that was two billion I was doing right there. Two, I think that was two billion if I'm not wrong. But that was, uh, that's a lot of damage. Let's see. I want to see how much damage we did here in the free range. Come on, load in. Let's see. All right. See three minutes. Let's see. Getting her full stack and everything. Hoka buffing her. Haruto buffing her, giving her arshin. Full on ability and debuffing the enemy. Let's see how much damage. 278 million. I think there this way I can make another team to do more damage. But that's not bad. That's not bad. 278 million damage. See. But yeah, I think she's a, a, a really a fun character. She's not nothing insane, crazy, but she can definitely do a lot of damage. And again, she's my first super physical super quick character. Finally, have one after War Godfin, well, getting shot from War Godfin. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And if you enjoy, please give a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts about her. If you like her, if you don't like her. And if you decided to summon, let me know. I, my personally, I like her. I think she's gonna be, she's a lot of fun to use. I just wish there were at the moment more content where you need to, a lot of sustain. There's a lot of things you need to do. But, wish, uh, because what day it is, there was things I wanted to do, I couldn't do. It is what it is. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoyed, please give a like, subscribe, let me know in the comment section below. Oh, I said that already. I'm done. But there should be some videos on your screen. Go watch them. I'm sure you did it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, gamers. Adios.